Hello everyone, uh, I am Professor Abdul Qadir Arsiwala and today we will be studying the practical number 1B on practicals on tax based software. In this practical, we are going to study creation of different types of SSEs such as an SSE for individual, business firm, partnership firm, etc. Uh, uh, for the purpose of this practical, we will be making an SSE of a simple salaried individual. So, I will be showing you the steps in which we will be creating this salaried individual's SSE in our tax base software. So, first step will be to open the tax base. Be sure that before using the application, you update the tax base database to the latest version and then click on OK. We are using the educational version, so uh, certain features of the software will be limited. Let's click on continue. Our practicals will be limited to the assessment year 2011 and 2012 only since we are using an educational version and not the complete version. Now, uh, we will have to create an SSC first. Now, the first thing you notice when the tax base opens up is that uh, the screen. This is known as the tax base home screen. All the different SSEs which we will be creating will be displayed in this area. Now since we haven't created any of the SSEs till now, this link, uh, list is appearing as blank. So let us create our first SSE. I will click on the new button. From the group, I will select the MJ group which we have already uh, made. SSE, I will type a uh, new name. Suppose, let us say our SSE is Mr. Pankaj. Sorry. Click on open. Uh, the new dialog box will appear and it will tell you that a new SSE Mr. Pankaj will be created. Do you wish to continue? Click on yes. And again click on open screen. Now you will be taken to a new screen uh, that is the SSC creation screen. Yeah, uh, we will just have to fill out the general details and we will be done. Uh, the group will be MJ group. The name of the SSC, we will have to write the complete name of the SSC. For this purpose, you will be clicking on this blue underlined highlighted area. Uh, the list uh, will uh, uh, pop up, a new box will pop up. Here you will have to write the proper name. Let us say that uh, his name is Mr. Pankaj. His middle name is, let us say, Vikas and last name is Patil. Once I write this information, I will click on hide. Um, I will be uh, reminded that do you wish to use this name format in all your reports? I will say yes. The name has been saved. For PAN, you can either write your 10 digit PAN number or we can show that the SSC has applied for PAN. He has not yet got the PAN. Let us assume that he has got the PAN. PAN is always a, five, a 10 digit number. Suppose A, 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 P, B, 1, 2, 3, 4 and B. In a PAN number, first five digits will always be of alphabets. Next four digits will be of numbers and last digit or uh, will be of an alphabet again. So I have written the PAN number of Mr. Pankaj. Now, um, ward will be the income tax ward. Let us say that it is ward number one, ward in which you are paying tax. You can change this according to your uh, income tax department. Let us say that he is having a ward number one. Now, here we will be writing the nature of SSE. Now see, we have discussed this nature of SSE in our theory subjects, uh, chapter number one also. Uh, there are various list of persons, individuals, HUF, partnership firms, AOPs, BOIs, etc. We will be doing the calculation for an individual since Mr. Pankaj is a salaried individual. I will click on individual. I will select male. ITR status. What is his ITR status? Is he a firm, a local authority, a bank or any other thing? He is none of the above. So I will leave this field as blank. Next, we are going to write the 
office address of Mr. Pankaj. Let us say he lives in suppose one. Uh, he works at suppose one two three. Uh, Joshi Pet and Jalgaon state will be Maharashtra. Telephone number you can give anything zero two five seven two two sorry two 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 three five seven eight. Fax. Let us say that he does not have a fax. Now here we will be writing a residential address. First of all, we wrote office address. Now we will write the residential address. Uh, let us say his residential address is suppose four five six bracket a Adarsh Nagar Jalga four two five zero zero one. State again. Maharashtra telephone zero two five seven two two six one four five eight. You can just write any random figures here, and the last one is uh, the filing address that is where the actual uh, returns and actual letters relating to the income tax will uh, be delivered. So we can write it either residential or we can give office address. Let us. Uh, show that uh, residential address as the filing address instead of typing all this i will just click this button and all these details will be copied automatically here this one okay if i this is very simple if i click on this button all these uh, details of residential uh, will come directly in the filing address i will not have to type it again now if we know the name of the assessing officer i will be writing his name here i don't know the assessing officer so i'll be uh, we will just uh, leave it blank. Next, most important uh, area comes father's or husband's name. In case of Mr. Pankaj, we will have to write his father's name. His father's name was Mr. Vikas. Vikas. Uh, let us say Vinod Patel. And I will play hide. Uh, which address do you uh, prefer to be printed on your income tax file? We will say that residential address. Uh, next will be the date of birth. Let us say he is born on 24th of July 1984. What is his residential status? Whether he is a resident of India or a non-resident, we will uh, select here. What is the method of accounting? We can select anything. Here I will be selecting the mercantile method. If you know the name of the accountant, we can select the name of the accountant. Let us say that Mr. Uh, Mr. X is the accountant of Mr. Vic, uh, Pankaj. Now other details which are remaining to be filled is the IT office location. We don't know the IT office location nor um, uh, for this practical purpose, there is no importance of writing this IT office location or a nature of business or activity. Okay. Now, uh, after filling all this uh, relevant information, again additional information if you wish to um, write something about the accountant or area code, EO type, we can write. Since uh, our practical is not in that much detail, we are going to avoid this information. I'll just click on save. The system will ask me, do you wish to enter credit card or bank details? I will say yes. We will have to and, uh, enter the credit card details. See, uh, before click on and yes, these four boxes were not available. Once I clicked yes, the applicable areas such as bank, auditor and credit card details became active. Now, um, we will not be going into credit card details or auditor details since we are just a uh, normal salaried individual. We will just be uh, putting up the bank details. So, I will just click on the bank details option. Here, and a window will open up, which first of all, it will ask me details regarding my bank. First is the name of the bank. I will write, uh, let us say, IDBI bank, bank code. You can write any random number, 6548, address of the branch, uh, Mehrun, Jalgao, branch code. Uh, again, you can write any random figure here. 
city code 98765 anything you can write account number 0571459 whatever you wish to write any random figure you can write in account number account type you'll have to select whether it is a saving account or current account let us assume he has a saving account uh, here you will have to write the bank's MICR code number IDBI any random thing you can write and click on save it will ask um, MICR should be in a 9 digit format let us make it a 9 digit okay and click on save continue the bank details will be saved okay now if you wish to add another bank you will have to select second bank from here okay let us assume that mr uh, pankaj only has the one bank account we have entered the bank account details i'll click on close now see all the details have been filled up uh, his uh, address his name his bank account everything has been filled up and next step will be just to save the SSE once it is saved I will click on close button assessment here uh, we don't get any choices here we'll have to select 11 12 as the assessment here and I'll click on close I'll be redirected to the initial tax base home from which we started now see since we have created an SSE the name of my SSE will appear on this screen as Mr. Pankaj Vikas Patel his group name his ward residential status and what type of individual is he and his PAN number all these uh, things will be appearing in my text based home page now this was the initial practical now from practical number 2 onwards we will be using this SSE and entering his salary details uh, and other such details in this SSE again ok so uh, with this we come to the end of the practical number 1b of tax based software uh, in case of any doubts you can feel free to contact me anytime at MJ college or um, you can reach me by email or you can call me on my uh, mobile number okay